TGIF. Hello, classy people. Wayne Bolden from the Speed King Channel. As always, turn your closed captions on. And of course, our tip sheets are available for this weekend over at the parks. PA Derby. Big, big race day up there in Ben Salem, uh, PA for sure. Shout out to my boys over there. And of course, we're going to have tip sheets for Churchill Downs, which is later that evening on Saturday. They're not going to start until 6 o'clock, so some more action. A racing on Saturday night and they got four or five good stake races over at Churchill which we're going to take a peek at them right now and the first race that we're going to take a look at at Churchill on Saturday evening is uh, race number 10 uh, stakes the Bourbon Trail mile and three sixteenths two hundred and seventy five uh, thousand dollars for three-year-olds and up and it's a full filter 10 let's dive in I'm going to give you our top three picks or for sake of time, of course. And we're going to go right back to a horse that we bet last time, Creative Minister. The number eight horse is nine to two on the line. Well, I liked this horse in the last race in the Smarty Jones Stakes race over at uh, the parks on the 23rd of, of uh, August. He was eight to five and really disappointed me. Ran third by seven lengths behind Best Actor. Uh, but I think he could reverse the course. Maybe the longer distance will help the horse uh, model in 316s uh, by creative uh, calls and on the back end by tapping. And of course, McPeak and McPeak is doing all the training. And as always, he has his boy with him. That's right. He got Mr. Brian Hernandez Jr. in the arm. So again, to me, Creative Calls has two wins from seven starts, one second and three thirds for 400,000. I mean, this Colt has to start to turn the corner. A very still lightly raced with seven starts, but he really needs to start stepping his game up if he's going to be on the scene with the rest of the three-year-olds. This is a perfect spot for a creative minister to, um, you know, to show his stuff. So we're going to give him a chance. We think the added distance may help him here, and uh, we always like McPeak and McPeak, of course. At 9-2 to two is a square price for me. He is the eight horse. Um, and this is a pretty deep fill, so uh, you should get a square price on our top pick, Creative Minister, for sure. And our second pick here, well, we would be kind of remiss if we didn't look at the number four horse, Warrior Johnny. Warrior Johnny has two wins from eight stars, two seconds, two thirds. The horse is by K. Rowe Prince. I think this horse is going to love the turf as well, even though today's race is on the dirt. Warrior Johnny is three to one. Got my boy Joe Talamo in the yards, and Bauer is doing all the training here. This horse ran a beautiful allowance race up at Saratoga on August 18th. Uh, going gate to wire with Alvarado up for at uh, at a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. Now he was beaten by several of these in here too, back in an allowance race by Gilded Age, the number seven, and War Campaign, who is the number five in here. But since then, like I said, he won that race on August 18th, and he only has eight starts, so that may have turned the corner for this gelding. We think Warrior Johnny is going to be sitting very close to the pace here and should get the very first jump on the rest of the field for sure. And, of course, you know how we feel about Joe Talamo. We like that young man, and, and we've always liked Joe Talamo. So our second pick here would be uh, Mr. Joe Talamo or Warrior Johnny sure and you don't have to look far for our third pick it's a homer it's my boy Billy Mott will gilded age two wins from nine starts one second one third Mott's doing the conditioning and of course he has his boy Alvarado seven to two on the morning line this horse is bred impeccably by Medagliador on the back end by Bernardini that's awfully awfully good this horse ran into Travis on the 27th of August at Saratoga ran fifth uh, by ten lengths of course epicenter and um, Cyber Knife and Zandon was in that race, so he was in very deep water there. Now, this is not a graded race, this stake race here, which is the Bourbon Trail Stakes. This is a serious class relief for Bill today, and we expect him at 7 and 2 and Billy Mott, Alvarado, to be close up for sure. And our third pick, our fourth pick to round our Super Out, is going to be a Pletcher horse, the number three, St. Tappet. 
Well, this is a nice, nice horse. You can't knock this here colt for sure. Nine to two on the morning line, the number three horse, St. Tappet. Two starts, two wins. No, you did not just said St. Tappet is undefeated. The horse is by Tappet on the back end by St. Liam. That's awfully good. Guess who's in the orange, y'all? That smooth, smooth rider. His name is Tyler Gaffleon. And where, where are we? We're in Kentucky. Always want to pay attention when Tyler Gaffleon is riding anywhere in Kentucky, as well as my boy Corey Larry. But again, St. Tappet uh, needs no introduction, and you're getting a square price on an undefeated Colt with the upside being, uh, who knows, the sky's the limit. The horse is 9-2. to two. You got Pletcher. You got Tyler. The horse is coming back off of a 49-day freshening, stepping into the first stake race. The horse is going to be on the lead. Yeah, stretching out from seven furlongs to a mile and three sixteenths. Now, can the horse go the distance? Well, his pedigree say he can. Tap it on the back end by St. Liam, please. Right? So, again, this horse will be on the lead, and he'll be on my ticket for sure, even though I have him as my fourth pick. This is a very, very evenly matched race in this here Bourbon Trail Stakes. And, again, uh, we're going to have a four-horse box uh, for sure and in our pick threes and pick four. St. Tap, uh, tap it, the number three to us. There's huge upside for this horse. So, in this year's race, 10th race, the Bourbon Trails. <clears throat> We're going to give our top billing to Creative Minister. We're going to give McPeak and McPeak one more chance here. I mean, Brian and them, they got to get this horse rolling. And our top pick is the number eight. Our second pick <clears throat> will be the number four, Warriors Johnny. Our third pick will be the number seven, Gilded Age. And rounding out with that nice, nice three-year-old colt that Todd has, Tap, uh, St. Uh, Saint Tappet. So for us, it's eight four, seven, three, in that order. We're going to box it up. We're going to key creative minister on top. We're hoping that he can finally get it done at a square price of five to one or nine to two. We like it a bunch. So again, it's eight, uh, four, seven, three, in that order. And then we'll key the eight horse over top of those horse and bet a few dollars on creative minister to win this year race. Let's see if McPeak and Brian Hernandez can get it done for sure. Stay classy, y'all.